What up, MetaZooManiacs? So today, I'm going to go over some more eBay auction sales. So it is February 19th. I had these auctions ready yesterday on February 18th, but I had to wait for one more auction. And you can see it on the screen, Andy Murat. You piece of crap. Look at you. Which ink is that? It's kind of brownish. Maybe that's shit ink. But anyways, it matches his hair. But anyways, uh, yeah. Good looking card nonetheless. Gotta give credit where credit's due. I mean, Madazoo cards look pretty damn good. Let's take a look. Magic is real. Real magic. Oh, that's not even how you say it, man. He didn't listen to the song. Let's go zoo, meta, zoo, and then it goes magic is real. Magic is everywhere. It doesn't say real magic is everywhere in the song. An idiot. You can't even get that right. But anyways, it sold 470 one hundred and seventy seven dollars and fifty cents anyways let's get to all the other crazy auctions in the last few days for metazoo cards i mean everyone talked about how metazoo is dead but if it was dead no one would be talking about it but everybody's talking about it so we got joint snake serialized out of five very nice card i love this artwork uh fifty seven dollars only so there's gonna be quite a few lots in here of kickstarter cards it's Interesting. So we have these eight Orifax Kickstarter, all PSA 10, for $400. So eight cards, that's $50 each. So 12 booster boxes of second edition, $162.50. Here we have 48 sealed blister packs of Hero Quest 2.0. Uh, once again, right? Like, what are you going to pull out of this? There's nothing you can pull. But 48 packs for $111. It would just be fun to rip it and just see if you can complete the set or whatever. It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, here, second edition, 144 packs, $96. 144 packs in native for $255. I would say this is a really good deal because native is obviously the shortest printed set out of the core sets. And I mean, you're going to get a different promo with each one of these and you're going to get the coin. Plus, who knows what you're going to pull in the pack. So. $255, I'd say that was a really good deal for $144. Like, that's a really good deal. Here we have 144 Seance Blisters for $179. And here we have 144 packs of Wilderness. I mean, there's not much you're going to pull, but you never know. And $102, hell yeah. Uh, whoever bought that, that would be a lot of fun. Here we have nine boxes of Nightfall, $265. Here we have Wilderness, uh, 12 booster boxes for $188. Not bad, it's coming down. This used to be worth a lot more. And it's only gonna get lower. Uh, second edition, 12 booster boxes, $142. Uh, Valentine's Day, 10 boxes for $61. Uh, tops, eight boxes, I don't know if they're weight or not. Even for $45 plus $30 shipping, I'd say that was not a good deal. There's just nothing in there. There's really nothing. It's cool. If you just want to hold this and open this in the future and just have a fun rip, then that's a good deal. But if you're actually trying to get something out of it that's worth anything, you're probably not the best. Here we have a Kickstarter sample Fountain of Youth PSA 5. Let's just zoom in on that since we might never see this card again. Why is it a PSA 5? There must be some denting or something on the back. Here, let's look quickly. Oops, got to zoom in better than that. Uh, oh, maybe there's some kind of something in here. See how the color's a little off, so it might be dented in a little or a little warped. But PSA 5, obviously there was something really wrong with it. $144, I mean, it's a sample card. Yeah, kind of cool. Not a bad price. I wouldn't pay it, but probably someone needs a part of their collection. Next we have Metal Man of Alabama, PSA 9, sample card. Uh, 200 bucks. Next we have Sample... Paul Bunyan, PSA 9, I mean $208, that was a pretty sought after card at one point in time, so i say that was a good deal, that's definitely a cool card. Oh man, the silver, I mean let's just let's just get a close up on this guy. The silver coin on the Kickstarter campaign, I think there's only a thousand of these, yeah it says over here. The $500 poker chip, let's just look at the front. Oh man, has this ever dropped in value? $3.25! Bam. Next we have Karomi's Cryptic Carnival, the chase card with Hello Kitty on it, uh, 
Here's a cool card. So it's Reverse Hollow First Edition PSA 10 uh, Mothman. It is not certified to be. It's not authenticated that this is the official MetaZoo artist. I mean, it looks like it. That's really cool too. That's a cool doodle. It's on, but it's on the case. It's not on the actual card, and it's not certified. So, but for 40 bucks, I mean, why not, right? I think that was a good pickup, whoever got that. Here we have Chromie's Cryptic Carnival, Chibi Aura Hollow, PSA 10. Uh, I looked it on the I looked it up on the PSA population report. And there's only one of these as a PSA 10. Now it only sold for $175. It just shows how much interest the set doesn't have. If you watch Nick's Strength in Pokemon, I mean even it says he opened up like at least 50 boxes and he pulled one of these. Like these should be like thousand dollar cards. They're so insanely hard to pull. And as a PSA 10, it's the only one as a PSA 10, only $175. I mean, I think that was, this is a steal of a deal in my opinion, because these are severely short printed. And speaking of Chromie's Cryptic Carnival, let's go check out the PSA pop report. So there's 73 cards sent in. Now the cards we want to look at are cards number four. Like these are the harder to pull cards. So Kuromi, uh, yeah, five sent in, four got a PSA 10. Next is gonna be card number eight, which is the Hello Kitty. There's six sent in, four of them graded as a PSA 10. Okay, well card number 20 is not on here. That's uh, Chibi, Adam, Ackler, and Sam Sinclair. No one's even sent it in the PSA yet, at least not on the population report. But let's check out Chibi or a Hollow. So that's the only one. There's only one sent in, one PSA 10. Okay, so the other hard to hit cards aren't even on the PSA pop report yet, but the secret rare is here. So let's scroll down a little bit. Karomi and Mothman, star rare. So three of them have been sent in the PSA so far, and two of them have a PSA 10, and there's one PSA 9. And don't forget that PSA 9 sold for $2,700 right before MetaZoo decided to close the doors. So what would the PSA 10 sell for? Does anyone remember two years ago when Nightfall uh, binders were so hard to find and they were like so expensive? 31 bucks. This is a badass artwork, man. I was gonna zoom right in on Mothman and Wendigo and all this chaos. Look at this. We got Grim Reaper here. Everyone's going completely bananas. Hey, look at that. Wait a minute. This is Nightfall binder. That's Flatwoods Monster. Flatwoods Monster's not a Nightfall. How do you sneak onto the binder? That's interesting. What? We're gonna zoom in up here. We've got Headless Horseman up here. Shadow People. Fresno Nightcrawler. Or, yeah, Fresno Nightcrawler. A Flatwoods Monster. What are you doing? How'd you get in the picture? He's like photobombing the Nightfall binder. Comment below. Am I wrong about that? Why is Flatwoods Monster on the Nightfall binder? Interesting. Oh, poor Adam Mackler. Look at this. Cryptid camera. Serialized out of 50, four bucks. Here we have a Stallygaster out of 25, Cryptid Camera, $26. I'd rather have that in Mackler. Yeah, how did Stallygaster sell for so much? I mean, it wasn't much, but it was even more than Chibi Quetz out of 25. I'd rather have this card. $15.50, can't complain with that, man. These are all decent pickups for the price point. Oh, and then we got Roperite out of 25. <laughs> One bit, 99 cents. This I would say was a pretty cool deal. The Wilderness binder with the complete set. It's got the Prism Aura, of course, LGS promos, uh, autograph cards. Let's see if we can find them here. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. Look at a lot of autograph cards, uh, Collecticon stamp cards. I mean, for $108. Well, look at it. It's even got um, Magic Cast cards. Pretty cool binder for only $108, and there's a few autograph cards in here. So whoever picked this up for $108, I'd say that was not bad. Uh, next, I don't understand this one at all. Hopefully someone could clarify this for me. So it's Hero Quest 2.0, Robotic Demon, Full Hollow, YouTube, like, what, 50 bucks for P this PSA 10. Like, why are people chasing this card? You can get a lot of cool stuff in MetaZoo for 50 bucks, but why would you spend 50 on Robotic Demon PSA 10. I mean, what? What's the appeal of this card? Why is this worth fifty dollars? I don't understand that at all. There's Kickstarter cards, full hollows, going for less than that. 
like Walking Sam and stuff like that. So why did this get to $50? So if anyone knows anything about why this card has any value, um, let me know. Next we have Topps Chrome, X-Fractor, PSA 10, Alternate Art Mothman. Let's take a closer look. This looks really nice. Boom. These are the kind of cards I collect. So it was going for $100. Best offer was accepted. And the offer that was accepted was for $69. That's Rudy. That's giggity, right? Uh, what do you think? $69 for Mothman Alternate Art x Fractor from Top Chrome. All I can tell people, man, Top Chrome is the way to go. If you can pick it up for cheap, do it. Here we have Chibi, Babe the Blue Ox. I mean, PSA 10, LGS promo for $42? I'd say it's a cool pickup. Let's just zoom in on that. So that's the LGS promo logo in the bottom there. I mean, who doesn't like Chibi, ba Babe the Blue Ox? That's one of the coolest artworks. Seance. PSA 10, can't go wrong with that, 42 bucks, I'd say that was a fair deal. Hey, PSA 9, uh, Valentine's plushie promo, and we never got the gold one. $15, I mean, if you need a part of your collection, cool card, can't hate on that. Here, let's zoom in all the way. Cool. I was surprised this one went for so cheap. So Piazza Bird, unscratched, so you can still redeem it for the skateboard if you can redeem itself, the revived skateboards, who knows what's going on with that. Comment below too, have you got any of the revived skateboards, have you got any confirmation of shipping? But the Piazza Bird, full hollow, PSA 10, unredeemed, for only $66? I'd say that was a pretty good pickup. I don't think I've ever seen this card before, but uh, Chibi Iowa Dragon. Uh, where is this from? Hopefully someone can inform me on this. I mean, obviously it's from Native. But I don't know where you get this card from, like what promo box or where does this come from? Pretty cool card though, i just never seen it. And it went for $51, which is quite a bit for an ungraded MetaZoo card at this point in time. So I just don't know anything about this card, I don't know where you would get this. And you remember when these Ding Ding Bell promos were like worth a lot of money? Well someone just sold 10 of them for 31 bucks. So they're worth absolutely nothing now. <laughs> Take a closer look at it. Yeah, it's when all the Kryptonation 1 boxes were damaged and they would send out this promo if your product was dinged in the shipping process. Pretty cool card. Hey, it's the $100 man. It's Sam Sinclair when he went to the Native Gala. Only $5.50. Damn, this card used to be so sought after. I mean, you would get this when you bought a box that was worth $100, you got three packs of cards and this promo. And that was it for a hundred bucks. What does it say down here? Holy shit. Yeah, holy shot, eh? Holy shot indeed. Only five dollars and fifty cents. This was just a cool auction. Um, <laughs> hey, at least they tried adding value into the description. It's a PSA 6 red ink from World Poker Tour promo cards. Population, there's only two of these in the world. But no one fell for that clever marketing because it only sold for $1.25. Oh man, it wasn't even worth putting on, but at least they tried. Population 2, there's only two of these. Here's a cool auction, so five of these UFO uh, lunch boxes. I think they'd be cool, if you kept them sealed, these might be worth some money in the future, who knows? I don't know how many were printed, but uh... I mean the shipping, it was $100, shipping is $66. Hey look at this, Babe the Blue Ox, unscratched. Uh, for 70 bucks. Now remember we just saw the Piazza Bird unscratched graded as a PSA 10 for 66. This one's not even graded and it's unscratched for 70. So Babe the Blue Ox is coming up in the ranks man. $103 for the Mothman Air Silver Mothman token. Pretty cool card. I mean it's serialized out of 200. Here we have Blue Flying Manta Ray token serialized only 111 copies. 81 bucks. It's not even in the plastic. I mean, these cards are still pulling some decent money. Oh, here we have another double die gold Mothman token. $350. I mean, anyone that thinks MetaZoo is dead, I mean, this card's raw. It's just sitting on a table, not even in any protection. I mean, it's serialized out of 100. Now, here's my question if anyone made it to this point in the video. 
What would you rather have? A card from Topps Chrome, like a Mothman from Topps Chrome, serialized out of 25, actually out of 50. I bought one that was 78 bucks. And it's serialized out of 50 from Topps Chrome. Right? The whole world knows a brand name Topps Chrome. But what is this double die gold Mothman token? Now, don't get me wrong. This is a pretty sweet looking card. But it's serialized out of 100. And it's selling for 350. I bought a Mothman out of 99 from Topps Chrome that was a PSA 9 for $50. Yay, here we have a full hollow, just first edition, not Kickstarter. Loveland Frogman, 42 bucks. That's impressive. I mean, it's not even Kickstarter. 42 bucks. I mean, this card definitely sold for well over $100 not long ago, maybe about six months ago as a PSA 10, just first edition. $42 in this point in time. That's actually pretty good. That's selling for more than some full hollow Kickstarter cards. Well, here's a big boy. PSA 10, Mothman from Revive, Skateboards. Not redeemable for anything. It's just the promo card. There's no redemption or anything. $635, man. Still pulling some heavy weight. Uh, here we have a Nightfall booster box that comes with a nice case. Uh, yeah, it sold for $23 Canadian. <laughs> So $17 American. Yeah, I bought this. This is something that I picked up. How could I not, right? I live in Canada, I don't have to pay for all those border taxes and crap. 23 bucks? Hell yeah. Here we have three Mothman cards. One's from Nightfall, Full Hollow, and two from the Poker promo cards from World Poker Tour. I mean, these cards are super nice, but no one really cares about them. I think these might be sleepers in the future, so maybe a decent pickup. $60? Uh, not bad. Can't hate on that. Here we have four Neutrality Totality cards. Uh, $29.69 Canadian. So $22 American for four of them. Holy moly UFOs dropped off the planet here. Right off the map. Here we have Men in Black. PSA 10. 28 bucks. Whatever happened to Men in Black cards? Like, Why are they not popular anymore? At one point this was like the chase card in UFO. And now it's worth like nothing, even as a PSA 10. Hey, it's Chromie's Cryptic Carnival, the original promo cards. Uh, we got Kropi as PSA 10, we got two PSA 9s. For 93 bucks, I mean, hey, if you need those for your set, uh, collect the whole set and you don't care about the grade, $93, a steal of a deal compared to what these cards used to sell for. And then we have uh, three of the other promos, so obviously not Hello Kitty or what's the other one? Black Cat or something, I can't remember, but yeah, we have PSA 10, PSA 9, and PSA 8. 80 bucks. I mean, if this you need these for your collection, you just want to have the promo cards and you don't care about the grade, $80, not a bad deal at all, I'd say. Here we have a lot of 20 cryptid camera cards for $26. That is a steal of a deal. Another really good deal. I mean, who cares what they even grade? I mean, yeah, I got the cryptid camera, no big deal, but Piazza Bird, the V Max. Piazza Bird, serialized out of 99. Arguably, in my opinion, the third best cryptid you could pull out of Topps Chrome, right? It would go Mothman, Loveland Frogman, and then Piazza Bird for 13 bucks. Psh, very good deal. Hey, Flatwoods Monster, Gold Refractor, out of 50. 10 bucks. Hell yeah. All I can say, if Menazu ever goes to Japan, they kind of like Flatwoods Monster over there, just saying, right? Next we have a case of 12 Wilderness, or sorry, uh, Native Boxes. So they wanted $980, what was the offer they accepted? Boom, $720 for 12 boxes of Native. Uh, I think that's insane. <laughs> I would not pay even, I, shh, maybe half of that I'd pay. I know Native doesn't have the hugest print run, but $720 American? For 12 native boxes. Uh, this was a really good deal. I mean, I know the whole market's down, but uh, Seance First Edition Possessed Aura, PSA 10 no less. And one thing I always uh, talk about when you pull this from a box, like the Seance Booster Boxes or whatever, it doesn't say First Edition down here. Isn't that weird? I think that's really weird. But, anyways. But it does say first edition when you get it from the skateboard, from Revive, say on skateboard, it says first edition down there, but 
in the actual first edition product, because right up here, it says first edition for the label, and we know it's first edition, but it doesn't say that on the card anywhere, which is interesting. Why didn't they print first edition on Possessed Aura? 100 bucks. That's crazy. Anyways, that's a steal of a deal in my opinion. Whew, sample cards are still going hard. I mean, compared to what they used to be worth, they're down a lot, but still, $1,335 American, PSA 10, Cumberland Dragon, and this is not the artwork they use in Wilderness, so this is really cool. Actually, you know what? Let's just zoom right in on it. Crazy, eh? Cumberland Dragon, sample card. So now that we're nearing the end of this video, we got to go for the Kickstarter Mothman PSA 10 Full Hollow. So I got three sales here. So we're going to start with February 17th. An auction went for $610, which is pretty damn low. <laughs> Not long ago, I never thought it was going to dip below $1,000. Now we're at $610. So that's February 17th. On February 18th, we dipped down to $585 on February 18th. Woo! Under $600. That is a grail card among grail cards. But let's see what happened on February 19th. So on February 19th, someone posted for $800 or best offer. And the offer they accepted was $600. So that's where we're at. That's the most recent sale. So full hollow PSA 10 Kickstarter Mothman, which is the best card you could pull out of a pack of MetaZoo, in my opinion. $600 down. And it's still a lot of money. But here's the thing, right? People will be like, oh man, it's so cheap now. These boxes were originally $50. So maybe, just a theory if you made it to this part of the video, maybe this is where the prices should be at. Maybe the market's finally leveled off. And that's when MetaZoo died, like where everyone's saying it's dead, which clearly it's not. But the company's not really doing anything anymore, but they weren't for the last year anyways, really. But when you buy a $50 box, a Kickstarter box, and the best card you could pull as a PSA 10 is still worth $600 even when the company is pretty much toast. That's still pretty impressive when you put it in that perspective. Yeah, this card used to sell for over $10,000, but I mean, <laughs> that's insane, right? MetaZoo Kickstarter did something that Kickstarter boxes and cards should never have done. So it was a freak of nature. But when you consider these are $50 boxes, and the company isn't in operation anymore, supposedly. $600 is still pretty damn amazing. Yeah, so what do you think of uh, some of the options in this video? Did anything surprise you? Did you buy any of these options? Is there any options I missed that you were aware of? And you think prices are going to go up or down for some of this stuff? Obviously the answer is down for most of it. Some of the singles are debatable. But a lot of the skill product I think is going to dip much lower than it's at right now. Especially Kryptonation 2nd Edition. So, anyways, comment below and we'll see you in the next video.